And Ole Miss won the toss in the third, so it is Brian Cole on the return for the Bulldogs. And a good return. Plumlee keeps it. Great pickup. Hurdles a man. Has a first down. And he is the first Ole Miss quarterback to reach 1,000 rushing yards in a single season. And it's been a rarity in Ole Miss history to see 1,000-yard seasons from anybody. Offense. He said this Plumlee guy is going to play baseball. He's a freak athlete. He's showcasing the career. And now it's Jerry and Ely. The true freshman who's been running well in the stead of Scotty Phillips, who is active tonight, he picks up 14 yards. How about Plumley and Ely, the two future Mississippi baseball players? Plumley, really while well, he practiced all week long. Trying to respond in this environment as he tosses to Ely, who lost the football. Mississippi State has the takeaway. Ryan Cole with the recovery. When you talk about impact players for Mississippi State, you got to start with Erol Thompson. He causes the fumble, and Brian Cole, another leader, captain, impact player, comes up with the... Third down and four for Schrader. Pocket collapsing, and he gets taken down by Benito Jones. Had to... And guys, Benito Jones is great against the run, but he's one of the best pass rush nose tackles in the game. He's, he's expected to be a threat in a... Four possessions, three three and outs, and a fumble combined. Garrett Schrader heaving it towards midfield, and it's caught for a first down by Dedrick Thomas. Schrader off the read, dumps it off for Isaiah Zuber, the former Kansas State Wildcat. Thank you, Parks, for Rock Green. Pick, is that good for the brand as well? It's beautiful for the brand. Set up your teammate to celebrate a little bit. Straight up the gut. Nick Gibson, first point to the end ball, belongs to the Bulldogs. He makes all the calls, he sets all the fronts. Plumley bottled it, got it back, and got smacked. Right back down to the ground by Marquis Spencer. Grayson afterwards, high snap, mishandles it, comes off the edge, boom, blows him up in the backfield. Plumley. Got a long way to go. And he's going to get run down from the backside by Jaquarius Landers, the safety, the second leading tackler. Had a blast, kicked the ball far. In the snow, that's pretty good. Celebrated hard. As always, Garrett Schrader, you guys talked about his running ability. He runs it on third and 12 for a first down. A little read play, hold for Kylan Hill. Blocking from his receivers downfield, and he takes it inside the 15. This time a keep and a touchdown for Schrader. Not no blink. Nice little trickery by Plumley as he finds Elijah Moore for the first time. Their leading receiver finally gets into it in the second quarter and takes it out near the 46. Mississippi State loves to blitz on third down. Here they come with the blitz. Plumley got rid of it, and he finds his man in Dennis Jackson, the true freshman from some rail Mississippi. Spread it, spread out it is, how far away the wide receivers are. Plumley rifles it over the middle to Braylon Sanders. Down inside the 10-yard line, first and goal for Ole Miss. What a sh I'm lined up so wide, Matt. Exactly, Pat. So you can come inside. If you have that wide split, expect in-breaking routes. Into a lot of the students. Plumley with Connor blocking. Opens up the hole for the touchdown for John Rice Plumley. Number 12 on the ground for Plumley in his true freshman season. Only Clyde Edwards Alaire of LSU has more in the SEC. Best and definitely most experienced 39 starts he's got. There goes Kylan Hill. Spinning his way to a first down to the 34 yard line. Incredible. That was good stuff. Now and later. Not a great uh -oh. candy, by the way. Tucker Day. Athlete. Here we go. Very exciting moment for Pat McAfee. Mm -hmm. But Tucker Day's got nowhere to go. And the Ole Miss offense will set up in plus territory. Yeah, very different than the NFL rules. Lovely serving. At the last moment, he finds Jerry and Ely for a first down. Be aggressive. 
They fake the reverse. Plumlee's got a lot of room on the near side of the field, and he's got the first down. They'll take it out at the 12. His improvement has to come these next few years. Handoff. Ely towards the edge, lunging for the goal line and in. Huge touchdown for Ole Miss. Yeah, gimme. Gave it to Hill. Looked like he was going to get stacked up. Was able to get to the outside, but he's going to get run out of bounds. Josh Richrod's been doing this for 20 years. Yep. We talked about it. Pat White, one of the original innovators of that at the quarterback position. Ely, another good run out across the 40. Put that whole thing. Plumley changes directions. Still on his feet and is going to be taken down back to the 35-yard line. We mentioned those guys have started every game this season. Plumley, a little sidearm sling past the sticks for Dennis Jackson. He seems to know each other in one way, one shape or form, one way or another. They played against somebody or they're related to somebody or mm. they looked up to somebody. Connor able to surge ahead. What a second, third, even fourth effort for Snoop. Has to run through a hole, but to get those yards after first initial contact, that's special. He's a good one. Oh, that pocket is collapsing fast. How about the speed of the Mississippi State front? Baby and love it. You gotta either throw it somewhere or throw it away. Plumley under pressure, lost the football. Bulldogs have it. Mississippi State has it. And then the ball comes free again. The Bulldogs will hold on. Willie Gay Jr. Welcome back to the lineup. Chauncey Rivers knocked it loose, and Gay was Johnny on the spot. Plumley's trying to make a play, tries to do a little bit too much. Probably a fumble. The referees rule it a fumble on the field. Gay's able to pick it up and make something happen. Football after a second Mississippi State takeaway. Now Garrett Schrader. Hey, the old Miss defense says, I can do it too. Sam Williams off the edge, their best pass rusher, with his sixth sack of the year. Let's get tonight. Fourth down and short. Schrader. Walks it up there and is caught by Dedrick Thomas for a first down inside the 15. In his career. And K.J. Wright's got a big giant mural on the stadium. Garrett Strainer in for the touchdown and Mississippi State jumps back out in front. And here he comes. Matt, great call. What did you see? Oh, wait, the ball's loose. That's what we see. Ole Miss takes over. At the 33-yard line, and you nailed it, Hasselback. Keedron Smith came in on the corner blitz, and it's Josiah Coatney out of the pack with the football. Big opportunity there for the defense to come up with that turnover, save some points, and Ole Miss right back in this one. Expect maybe a slant or an isolation play to the left, sorry, to the right, or a flood. Well, Plumlee's got nothing downfield, so he's just going to take off and run to the 40-yard line. Plumlee. I think Matt Corral's in. Oh, Matt, I beg your pardon. It is Matt Corral, change at quarterback, redshirt freshman. And Matt, you pointed it out. You thought at some point, as well as Plumlee had been playing, we might see Matt Corral check in. And his first pass is good for 12 and a first down. Well, you think Matt Corral is maybe a better passer. They blitz him on this first down, and Drummond gets loose again. Two passes, two connections with Ontario Drummond, the Laurel, Mississippi native. De Continues. Second down for Ole Miss. Matt Corral. Nope. Rifles and is picked off. Marcus Murphy, another formerly suspected player, makes a huge play in the end goal. Well, this is just a rookie mistake. Matt Corral gets too, a little too greedy. He pumps it short and tries to throw it deep, but Murphy is right there. This ball had no chance. This is almost like a predetermined idea or a throw. He overthought it. Within five yards of the line of scrimmage. Big boy football. Oh, a pass for Schrader. He's trying to get one off. And he is hit. Brought down by Jacquez Jones. Three-man rush. Corral. Pressure. Down he goes. Chauncey Rivers and Kobe Jones. Fourth down and 24. He's got Launches. It. Sanders caught it. 
Down inside the 30-yard line, Braylon Sanders, the biggest catch of his life. Like I was saying, Matt Corral was going to do something special <laughs> in this moment. This is unbelievable. Everybody focuses in on Elijah Moore. This is a free play. Corral to the end zone for Sanders. Did he come down with it? He did. We have not seen a Outside. signal. Defense, number 42, unabated to the quarterback. Half the distance wow. to the goal. Oh, wow. So Holy. they call unabated to the quarterback, Matt Austin. Again, we've talked about this before. They want to make sure nothing gets to the QB. Let's take a listen. We didn't hear Here comes the pressure. Corral towards the goal line. It is caught. It is a touchdown. Elijah Moore. And they're an extra point away from tying the game. And penalty markers get thrown after the play. The pick is up. And it is no good. The Bulldogs are celebrating. There's still four seconds left in this game. There are still four seconds left. In Bokings, in Bokings, DK Metcalf, Luke Logan had the opportunity to tie the game and missed it wide right. But now so much to sort out with the penalty flags that were just thrown after the play. After the play was over. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct fouls on the Mississippi State bench. Every player on the team leaving the bench. Also, unsportsmanlike conduct foul number 22 on Ole Miss coming off the bench. Those fouls offset. We'll have a kickoff. And Matt Corral, from what I've heard, has the arm to reach from about 60, 65 yards. They got to get the ball and get it fast. They won't. Mississippi State has it. What an egg ball. They won't be able to stop them from partying tonight in Stuttgart. Mississippi State, in an instant classic, wins it by one.